it is the morning after the night before. It was a very lovely evening. It wasn't actually too late or too raucous, just for a change. Um, but a good night's sleep was had, and the day of boating begins. It's looking a little bit cloudy out there at the moment. I don't know how you can see that. But it is forecast for that to clear and it to be lovely and sunny. So we'll see, and we'll keep our fingers crossed. But my plan for this morning is to head out of the boat. Let's go this way. He's coming with me. Morning. Morning. And I'm going to head up for a shower and a freshen up, and then we start another day of fun. Here's Brick this morning. Hello, <laughs> Nicholas. <laughs> He just caught me. I was just saying, has he hit three hundred thousand? <laughs> you see, and we're all that you're five thousand off. We're all obsessed by it, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> I see the kettles on. Hey, colour-coded kettle. Look at that. Colour-coded kettle. Um, unfortunately, they, they don't do the um, um, what's he call that thing? Stove. Stove in <laughs> red. Ah, uh, perhaps a respray. Yes. That's very yeah. good. So yes, kettle is on. Excellent. Excellent. Oh. Ah, mine's just passing. Look, there we go. Morning, Shapers. <laughs> there we go. Right, we're going to freshen up and we're going to catch up with you in a little while. And uh, we'll come up with a plan for the day. Yeah, we're going to go into town and get some stuff as well. Okay. Um, but yeah, catch up in a bit. Right. Okay. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Ah, yes, that's much, much better. I feel very fresh and ready to face the day. So this morning we need to go into Brixham and get some provisions. And then it's boating. Still looking a bit grey. But we're living in hope. Now where's the boat? The boat, oh you can just see the nose of the boat poking out just there. That's where we're berthed at the moment. Excellent. Hey, hey look at you tucked away with a good book. Oh, it's all come true. <laughs> Do you see me sitting in the chaos? I literally moved the saucepan out of my way. <laughs> I want to sit down with my book and my cup of tea. That's awesome. Have and I see you've gone to a lot of effort in removing the uh, the hatch cover <laughs> from up above. I mean, you've literally pulled two of the four <laughs> poppers. I did other stuff. <laughs> I had to scavenge water out of four different water bottles to get enough water for one cup of tea. <laughs> now that it's here, it's extremely precious to me. <laughs> I understand. I think we need to go and stock up. Yeah, yeah, I agree, I agree. But, you know, in a couple of minutes. Understood. Merchandise is available. <laughs> okay, let's go. And look, it's blowing up like they said it would. Fantastic. Here's Marianne. Good morning, Marianne. We did that, didn't we? We did all that. Ignore that. Don't say you, good morning. You accosted me while I was having my, my innocent cup of tea. You, you were, yes, yeah, surrounded by debris. <laughs> tea is very important. Oh, look. It's all coming alive on sea, on Seagull 3. So this is Brixham, and this is the events pontoon down here. And we couldn't help noticing it's one of the people that we know down there, so we're going to wander down and say hello. There we go. Ben's pontoon. Off to you, Mr. Greg. Okay, you're very kind. Oh, Hey! Hey! How you doing? Hello, hello. We were just wandering along. We couldn't believe how many people who were normally on the rally Coincidentally, have to be the same place. Exactly, the same time. it's so weird, isn't it? It is astonishing. Yeah. Just like yeah. those. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. How are you doing? Hugs have to be done. Good morning. Hi, how are you? Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, yeah, all right. Thank you. Yeah. Well, we are all provisioned up. It is now. 25 to 12 and I'm having breakfast I'm having frosties it's just that kind of day 
and uh, that's how things are looking out that way. And there's a bit of breeze picking up when it's easterly, which is slightly concerning because that does tend to bring a bit of swell into the bay. But we're just going to chill out here for a bit, have something to eat, and then we're going to mosey out, I think, and see how things are looking. So, uh, yeah, here we are almost halfway through the day. <laughs> Not achieved a lot, but having a lovely time. Did I mention these? Uh, yeah, I did. Well, we've ground to a little bit of a halt. We were talking to somebody earlier who'd been out in the bay that was blowing a little bit easterly and there's a bit of swell out there. In fact, on my computer here, if we go over to this fella, this is a live display of exactly what's going on in the middle of the bay right now. There's a wave boy out there sending live information. So here we are up this side and you can see the latest update is 11.30. In fact, maybe there's a more recent one. Let's do a refresh. And we've got two feet now actually that is the amplitude so it's in fact it's four foot waves out there it's not fantastic so we've just kind of relaxed into a lazy afternoon i've been checking the aquaholic new video's just gone up and marianne is here pretending to read a book and i think she's going to be asleep within the next 10 minutes um and that's it really and sometimes it is just nice just to stop i'm sure we'll go out and play later but um we're just chilling on board boats gently rocking and uh, and we're nesting really i need to show you marianne's designer luggage however look at this hey hey you don't see stuff like that everywhere do you full of beans <laughs> i didn't think it was gonna say full of crap for a minute but there we are. <laughs> so uh, yeah join us later we might actually go and do some proper boating but at the minute we are just relaxing and it could be a lot worse well we have had a very relaxed afternoon on the marina but then they decided to play live music uh, which is great i like a bit of live music but it's sometimes nice to have a choice so we're going to head out and find something a bit more peaceful I'm still a little bit concerned about these sea conditions not concerned that's the wrong word nothing to be concerned about at all it's a very small swell but the point is not necessarily terribly comfortable so we're just going to go and have a little look see what it is like also got a fuel slot berthed berthed a fuel slot booked on the fuel berth so we're going to go and fill up with fuel at uh at four o'clock um and yeah that's just a little bit of afternoon activity really get a bit, a bit of exercise give us a bit of fresh air and get the boat full of fuel and then we'll see what we're going to do later on with regard to this evening's festivities that's about it really but it's looking all right the uh the clouds breaked up a little breaked up a little bit clouds break up a little bit <laughs> it's almost like you've never done this before <laughs> i know i know that is, yeah, that's not subtle, is it? Oh well. energy now and how much further you'll go up and how much harder you'll come down uh -huh, uh -huh. and how much faster you'll hit the next one it's amazing how brief some experiments yeah, are isn't it i i would go yeah 90 degrees so now degrees. yeah because now the waves on your beam you're not having to jump over them And now you can pick the speed up and you'd be okay because you're not pushing into the flood so much. Yeah. Oh. But it will throw the spray over the boat. Yeah, that's 
it. Ease it back a little bit. Yeah. There we go. Trim the nose up just a touch. Lovely. There you go. And now we're riding across it. Okay. So that's more comfortable. How are you going across it? You think, oh, it's all gone, it's yeah, fine. It's lovely. Yeah, it's so fine out here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fresh underwear for me. <laughs> oh, it's half there. Yeah, that's just something else. It's amazing, isn't yeah. it? So if you're going to following sea, you would sometimes trim the nose up a bit so that it doesn't stuff into the wave in front. Okay. However, if you're going slowly, you need to keep the trim in so it keeps up the plane easier because when you trim it up, it won't plane quite so easily. So at this sort of speed, I'd have it just a very small fraction of trim. That's it. Telescope, so it's nice to come and see it actually in the flesh, as it were.
really, really well though, doesn't it? Yes, it really does. It doesn't slam, doesn't throw loads of spray everywhere. It's just a really, really good seaboat. I'm going to avoid them power parts, not hit him. Correct. Yeah, we'll wait for Voodoo to go through, go around behind him and behind him. God, that music's terrible. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not against live music generally, but he's not great, is he? He's not singing, he's yelling. Okay, nod your head now, you'll be fine. By the time you get to him, we'll be gone. See he's going in over here, he's got the lines on now, so he's completely out of our way. So basically what we can do is go past the fuel berth, well over on the right hand side, take a big curve round and the wind will help us back down. So just take it all nice and steady, there's extreme. Why, uh, why don't we just pull up alongside it? Because the fender's on this side and so is the fuel cap. Okay. So we need to do that side too. Oh, uh, the bounce was on if you need it. Yeah. Okay, so you want me to go beyond it? Yes, because the wind is going to bring you back down. Now, hard left hand down. Give her a nudge ahead, get her turning. That's it. Now, the wind will do the rest. Really? Yeah, yeah. Really? No, not all of it, but. Now we're right, right? Yeah. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Good five. Got us turn again? Just a little nudge. That's it. That's perfect. Back. Nudge your head, yep. That's it. Lovely. That's really good. Ahead. Except I'm a bit too far past it. Exactly, so reverse okay. up a bit. Drop that, obviously you're not filming, are you? No, we're good. no of course not. Okay. Because if I just cock this up, then you need to be able to get in here. I'll just okay. drop everything, don't worry. Lovely, and again. Lovely. Straighten up. I just turn. Just turn. Yep. That's it. Lovely. Bounce rust it in. That's it. And again. There you go. That's fantastic. That's okay. Look at that. Perfect. But, um, but that's entirely my fault. Honey, you've been driving boats for about five minutes. You're doing brilliantly. Can I turn it off? Yeah. Oh, that was good. Oh, of course you could. But you've been driving boats for about five minutes. Spring line on. Tragic, Marianne. <laughs> <laughs>
tragic. I know. You think as well, I'd be better at it. <laughs> Well done, Marianne. Now, getting off of here, <gasps> so things to consider is that all the weight's been taken by that stern line because the wind is blowing us this way. So we can let this spring go and this bow, they're doing nothing. So if you start the engine. Okay, so that is not going to go anywhere because yep. it was just slack. Same with this one. Yeah. And how are you going to go out of here, Marianne? Me bum into it. Exactly so, right. Yeah, so I need to go straight out. You could go straight out. I'll tell you what I would be more inclined Slightly to do. Slightly left hand down because it's blowing me on. Yeah, what I would be more inclined to do actually is put the left hand hard down and give her another stern, pull the back of the boat out. Okay, okay, understood. Um, and, and reverse off. Right, okay. So once we've got the, the, the stern off, left loads of left hand down, nudge a stern, get the back out, and as it comes out, straighten up so the bow doesn't swing in. Nice. You can do it in stages. You can give it a nudge of a stern, neutral, straighten up, nudge okay. of a stern and get us out away from this pontoon. Okay. All right, I'm get the stern line off now. Okay. Well, as you wish. Depends if you think it might be useful. Okay. All right. Turn. Yeah, with a helm down. Left, down. left hand down a lot. That's it. Now straighten up. Now a stern again. There you go. You see how it's pulling yeah. you off now? Yeah. It's just bought me a little bit of space now. Yeah, exactly. Straight ahead. Exactly. And now you've got room to steer to the left a little bit and room for the stern to come in. That's perfect. You see how it's bought you that, like a foot yeah. of space? Yeah. <sighs> Ideal. That was spot on. But you're just physically pulling the boat sideways, otherwise you've gone straight, you'd have had nowhere to go if the wind pushed yeah. you in. Well, we are back in the marina and all is nice and calm in here. We're tucked up, nice and safe, back in our berth. I'm gonna put the covers up in a minute, although it is actually it's pretty warm now, warmer now than it was earlier. And meanwhile, inside, Marianne has reverted from captain to galley slave. Look at this. How are you doing there, Marianne? Hey there. Well, I am prepping dinner. And what is for dinner? We are having, uh, hopefully, um, chicken and vegetables, chicken, potato and carrots. Wow. Hopefully. And this, I should point out, is the very first time that this boat has ever been cooked on. Yes. Well, yeah, actually it is. We make cups of tea. I've never cooked on it. It's have never, you ever cooked it? I've never been cooked on. Okay. Well, at least not by me. I mean, previous owners might have done, but even then I doubt it. So yeah, exciting times. Cool. Right, I'm going to fiddle around putting the covers up and uh, we'll be all sorted. Scapey carrot. That's all right. Sacrificial bit of carrot. I wonder what that was there for. Yeah. That's neat. You need a character to put your match out I've never on. seen anybody done that before. That's amazing. Well, you know, hang around with me and you're going to see a whole bunch of stuff that never happened before. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get another plate out. Okay. This is going to actually have to get thrown out on a plate. <laughs> Are you ready? Okay, here we go. There's a lot of... Um... Do we do some scraping? Go on, yeah, do some poking. Oh, they look nice. Yeah, they're quite, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, you don't need all of it because there's extra spuds and whatnot in oh, here. Oh, okay. Right, I'll do some poking. Now. It's not that your poking wasn't anything but absolutely adequate. You're always very kind about my poking. You've never discovered there's anything other than absolutely adequate. Uh, with my 
edit that bit out. <laughs> Just remember who does the editing. <laughs> and uh, I wouldn't want people to get the right idea. Can't cast aspersions on your poking. Okay. <laughs> right, chicken. You ready for this? Yeah. Looks good. I think it looks good. Does it cut right through? Yeah. Oh, oh. Serving you up some kind of it is a bit anemic looking, but you know it is chicken. Well, that's fantastic. It's all right, isn't it? And it yeah. is cooked through. You can see they've both been cut open. Yeah. So I want to check that. It smells all right. Yeah. Let me show you. See, it's pink. It'll be. Yeah, it's oh, that's perfect. perfect. It's nice and moist as well. Yeah. Okay, so let's go. Let's hope we're not, you know, killed. <laughs> let's hope, eh? <A. laughs> oh God. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. So we had a really lovely. <laughs> They're being very rude. They're making gestures, the like of which you you wouldn't believe from Marianne, who's just rude, rude. No need for that. Difficult to do. <laughs> <laughs> What's up there, Marianne? <laughs> it's been rumbled. We oh, have had a really lovely meal which Marianne cooked. We had chicken and we had baby new potatoes and we had carrots and it was genuinely delicious. And now is the nicest part of the day. The sun's really warmed up, the wind has dropped, and we're just chilling out on the back of the boat. We've got the carabar in play. Look at this. Ta -da. And uh, Greg's joined us because Sally's headed off home, and Marianne's there looking gorgeous. Um, and, and and that's about the size of it, really. We're just going to chill out here this evening, sleep on the boat tonight, and another day tomorrow. So thank you for joining us on our boating extravaganza. We will be back on the water with you guys again very soon. Take care. It's alright, I can make it home by myself I've got your words inside my mind Nobody told me it was gonna turn out like this But that's alright, that's alright, that's alright I watch the sun climbing over buildings and bridges Guess we lost track of time Nobody knew it was gonna turn out like this But that's alright, that's alright, that's alright